Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Vlogtober Day 16. I'm pretty sure I'm right. The right date will be up, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't think I lost track already. Um, I'm just, I'm really, really tired. Um, it's been a long day. It's not even that late, sorry. Oh my goodness, it's not even that late. Um, it's only, it's three, but I work today as you guys know. Um, yeah, so I got home and I had to finish my squares because I didn't get them finished before work. I didn't even get them started before work because I actually, I got sleep. Um, I'm like launching right into my story of my day. How was your day? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I had it on my mind that I was going to like actually make this a pretty quick video just because, um, I, I almost fell asleep making my squares. Um, but I really wanted to stick with like whenever I do a vlog, um, month, when I first started doing vlog months, like my, my first year doing it, um, I think I did skip a day or two somewhere and that led to my downfall. And I, I missed a lot. And I feel like I did that. I know I did it for a, vlog, a vlogmas, but I feel like I did it maybe the next year also for a vlogmas or I don't think I think I was, I've been really vigilant for Vlogtobers, so I feel like on Vlogmases or maybe during like Vlogus or something, I did it in my earlier years. And uh, so like that's the pattern I've noticed is once I skip one or two, then I, I it all goes downhill. So like I, I'm trying not to skip any. <laughs> um, now... <laughs> On the 20th, on, on Sunday, I may have to, or, or film it late or early, I don't know, because that's the day I'm seeing Fozzie. What did I do last time? I know I did that during a vlog month last time, too. I think I just did it, like, from the road, so I didn't do, like, whatever I did normally, so, like, I may not come in and do my squares and my drawing or something. I might just do an actual, like, footage from the road type of deal. So I still don't miss it. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, so I had, I've been bound and determined that I wasn't going to take, like, super long. I wasn't going to talk super long. Because, like I said, um, I was getting my squares done for today, like, out in, in the other room. And, uh... I almost fell asleep a few times. So it's just, I was so tired. And uh, I still have to stay up. Because poor David. David's only getting four and a half hours of sleep tonight. Because he came home really late from work. And he has to... Because he worked like a, a mid type of, of shift. And he ended up coming home late from that. And then once he got home, he had like... Um, work emails that he had to deal with. And just like some some computer type of work for that for his work stuff. Um, I said work like eight times. I didn't mean to, <laughs> but um, yeah, he had computer type of work that he had to do. There I go again. Um, so he didn't get to bed like until late. So I was texting him from my work, and uh, he didn't get to bed till real late. And then he opens this coming morning. So yeah, he's he's not getting sleep. But as so I told him, I was like, I'll just try to be really quiet. And which actually reminds me. I'm gonna add a, another little layer of door between him and I. Uh, he's upstairs and all, but uh, can't hurt, right? To add another little layer, just in case. Um, cause he's got Maverick up with him and I'm not trying to disturb Maverick either so that he wants to come down and, uh, hear me, you know, and see me and stuff. Um, like I, I want to see my little man, but I will see him, uh, at five when he sends him down 
Um, cause that's when he starts to get ready for work. So I'll, I'll feed him and everything. So since he's not getting much sleep, I, I'm, I'm staying up to feed him and then I get to go to bed. <laughs> but I figure as long as the video is uploading by then, it doesn't matter if I fall asleep. <laughs> like down here, Maverick will wake me up when he comes down the stairs. So <sighs> yeah, fun life. <laughs> It, it isn't going to be like this forever, so it'll be okay. Uh, if nothing else, I have vacation coming up, and then I fully intend to sleep. Uh, I was going to say, if nothing else, pretty soon I, I will hopefully be getting my, my surgery, and then I can just, like, I'll have an excuse to sleep all the time. Um, but there may be some developments in that. Uh, I have not talked to David yet, so he may have a different outlook on things so I may be jumping the gun a little bit but I got news kind of from from my boss today um, I had been under the impression that they were basically just ready to send me a, and, and from my boss's perspective they are just ready to send me on medical leave whenever I need to go which is how I've been taking things um, it's what I told the doctor when I went to go see her. Um, my boss brought up, oh, while you're away, you have to pay out of pocket, um, for your insurance from the company. So I was like, okay, how, like? Do you want me to just give you cash? <laughs> Do you want me to pay ahead? Are you going to take it out of my check when I come back to work? Like, I, I need to know these things if that's what you want me to do. And so she said, oh, I didn't think about that. It's just what I want you to do. So let me ask the owners what, how they want you to do this. Okay, so that you wanted me to pay you money, but you don't know how. Okay, so... She emailed the owner. Now remember, the owners are the same owners that were just fine and dandy paying me, not paying me for my vacation and not telling me. So, last week, she got, she got an email back from, from the owner's wife who handles all this, the money type stuff, like the payments and the stuff, the paying out and the paying in and stuff. And this lady had said, does, does Heather have temporary, mm, what is it called? Temporary disability insurance. Uh, so she asked me, and I said, no, that was not something that was offered under the previous owners. And when we switched owners, I didn't get an opt-in to anything else. The insurance that I got just switched over to the new owner's names. Like, they didn't ask me, do you want this, this further insurance? They just said, oh, the new owner's going to have the same coverage you still want it? And I said, yeah, I still want, you know, my vision, my dental, my health insurance, my life insurance. Okay. That's that. <laughs> um, that's, that was it. Uh, they didn't say like, oh, well, we're offering you this and this and this and this or whatever. Um, that was her only answer to my boss's question. And I guess that was, like I said, like a week or so ago. So today, having finally read the, the answer, which was no, that I didn't have that, she sent another email to my boss. And she said, well... If Heather's gone for more than three months, we'll be 
um, moving her to a leave of absence, which takes her off of any and all insurance. So th I, that was her answer? <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, my doctor has already told me that there's like basically three different stages to recovery and each one could take up to four months or not four months, four weeks. Well, added together, that is three months. And I've only had one surgery, but for anything in my life, I have always been, including that surgery, I've always been a slow healer. With my surgery, I was given like a certain amount of time and then it was extended. So I was actually had been talking to my boss before all of this and we both expect me to end up extended for a further amount of time. So I said, what, what do they want me to do? Like, do they want me to hobble in on an unhealed foot, punch in, and then say, well, I'm in a lot of pain. I have to go home, but just officially have clocked in as a, you know, at, the, at like the two month and 30 day mark. Like, what do they want me? What do they expect me to do? Um, <laughs> it didn't seem like. If it was doctor appointed medical leave, that they could force me into a leave of absence that took me off of insurance when insurance was paying for the medical procedure that was paying for the medical leave. <laughs> it's all very confusing to me. Um, slightly at a loss I don't so um I was talking to one of my friends today and she said well why don't you just get the um the other insurance the the temporary disability because it sounds like if the temporary disability is paying you out that's what would save you from going on the leave of absence and I said, I can't do that until December or January because that's when the sign-up is for it. And she said, well, it would not be great for you. Like, because I know your feet hurt, but that's not that far away. Why don't you wait and put off your surgery until then and sign up for that? And then that should, in theory, kind of protect you from them doing that to you I don't I don't even know if it will work that way it'd be nice if it did because if it did I guess I could I could give that a go um I am, I am very frustrated by the fact that they seem to be taking any opportunity they can get to just screw me over. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm. I'm pretty fortunate in the fact that the, one of the only things beneficial that came from my former marriage was that I have USAA insurance because he was former military um and that like car insurance but you can get all of the benefits from like I could get USAA banking and loans from USAA and different things like that um so I was thinking about looking into their their health insurance and just paying it myself like 
paying my own insurance and dropping the health insurance from work altogether. And if I do that, whenever I go and get my surgery, I might just not come back to work. <laughs> like I might find, just use that opportunity to, to apply for other jobs. <laughs> Because um, I was floored enough and mad enough about the whole taking away your vacation time and not telling you and I was floored enough by that. But the fact that they seem to just be reaching for any, you know, let's check first and see if she's got the disability insurance that we didn't even offer her. And then let's let's check again, you know, or not check again, but since we know she doesn't, now we'll say that we're going to put her on leave of absence right when her doctors say that she'd be coming back. And... <sighs> I know at this point, um, because of the whole vacation thing and being sore about that, I probably am just easily upset by this company. But I guess the fact is I'm easily upset by this company and this is not doing anything to make it any better. <laughs> So, that's the kind of day that I had today. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's not one thing, it's another. Um, anyway. So, and, and I, I was, it's, it's cold. It's really cold. So, I'm just going to say, I'm, sw I'm switching subjects before I, just, or, um, I caved. I uh, was, yeah, I, I couldn't, I didn't, I did not get my um, fan cover done yet. And I was to the point where um, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to work on my squares, let alone my fan cover tonight because my fingers were so cold. <laughs> I debated staying in my car. <laughs> to get the squares done um, because the, my car has heater you know the heater going um, just because the house is so freaking cold and I can't crochet in gloves and I don't know how I mean I, I guess because David doesn't do anything in the house that requires like he doesn't do he doesn't crochet. He's not, you know, he's working and then going to bed. So he doesn't do anything like play his guitars right now that require, you know, finger usage and things like that. So maybe, maybe he just doesn't realize how freaking cold it is, but it's, it's cold. And I'm a baby when it comes to cold. Like I, I'm still going to preface that I'd rather be cold than hot. Like, I can't, I can't stand, I can't deal with the summertime heat. I can't. But I also can't do things like crochet when it's this cold. <laughs> I could sit there and wrap up and snuggle up in a blanket and, you know, a heating pad or a heated blanket or, but I, I just, I can't function. <laughs> so I, I had to do it. I had to set my fan aside and, um, well, obviously the fan hasn't been on. But I'm just saying, like, I had made that whole deal with myself where I would not bring out my little desk heater and all. But there's no heat. <laughs> and I'm cold. So I had to do it. I had to. I was, it's been a rough day, and I did not want to be sitting in the cold also. <laughs> I just could not do it. Um, so, yeah, I didn't. I just, I, I didn't brought the heater out I dusted it off because I mean it hasn't been used since last last year and um it's it's on 
And that is the only room downstairs that, that is warm. <laughs> um, like I came into this room and I, my nose, it's already so cold. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, uh, I brought, speaking of the squares that I was trying to get done, I brought this, uh, cause I didn't, I didn't remember if I had shown it to you or not, but when I'm, and obviously this is, this is an older piece, um, that I had done just for like to get some scraps done. And I hadn't put any more scrappy squares on it, uh, since I started it. Um, so this is not the, the fanfic blanket or anything, but it was a scrappy one that I wanted to show you, but this is how the diamond scrappy squares are going to end up working up. You know, it's not the same color scheme because these were just different scraps at the time. But I didn't know. I couldn't remember if I showed you this at the beginning of this or if I've shown it to you like before when I started it. It's just a little sample. But I think it looks pretty cool. I really, really like the way it looks with all the different scrap colors. I mean, I think if you made a blanket like this with an actual like color scheme, it would look really cool too. But yeah, so it's, it's going to look something like this. Not exactly. Cause like I said, I don't, I know I don't have the same, this color scheme of scraps is not, uh, let me see here. Like it's not whatsoever like the same at all. <laughs> And I don't know, um, these are, uh, continuous join as you go. The other one will actually have like a border of, it'll be still be join as you go, but it'll have the border of a color in between it. So, but yeah, I'm, I like, I really like the way these look. So, but I have, I have this across my lap. <laughs> I'm, I'm cold in here. It's cold. So. Anyway, so speaking of my squares, let me show you um, this day, today's, can't even concentrate on my words, today's was um, Dr. Sam Owens, so I have the picture, um, kind, kind of a side character, kind of meant to be a villain, I know I talked kind of at length about him, him yesterday, him and villainry, um, but a lot of pictures have him like in his um, like white lab coat with like a gray. He's he's pretty known for having this gray uh, like a gray knit vest kind of deal underneath. Uh, so I did the white with the gray. And then um, I hadn't thought of it when I started this square. But he also does have this maroon tie, right? This dark maroon red tie. So when I did the switch of colors, I added a little thing in the center for that. So that's kind of like his dark, his dark red tie. But then that's the same like little sweater vest deal, gray and, and the white for like his lab coat or his, uh, his long sleeve shirt that he's got going on. But those are my two uh, Dr. Sam Owens squares. If you've seen season four, he's like the good doctor. <laughs> so we'll add him to the pile. And then let's just draw. I did want to let you know too, um, probably Thursday is when I'll end up doing the, the video, but I did get my other thing of yarn in from Joanne's so I can do that video. I'm very excited. All right, you feel, oh, I had two, here we go. Narrowed it down. Who do we got? Argyle. So I am gonna stick up a picture of Argyle right here. And Argyle is a character that got introduced to us in season four. And he's kind of the, uh, he's the stoner pizza guy friend of Jonathan's from California. Uh, he is the, uh, the guy that works at Surfer Boy Pizza. Um, 
we love well i don't know about you guys we when i say we i mean me but i i love argyle he's uh just like kind of a kooky i i'm don't think i think he got about as much airtime as a side character basically but i th think he's kind of considered well i'd say he's considered a main character but yet he's not he's he's like this fine in-between character because pretty much everyone knows him but he doesn't really have a main plot line <laughs> so like by definition i'd say he probably is just a main or a side character like he's a supporting character for sure um but we'll see if argyle gets any any screen time uh because like he just kind of accompanied the gang from california to hawkins and then is he gonna hang out in hawkins is he gonna go back to California like what's what does the future have in store for Argyle I, I don't know <laughs> um not a lucrative candle uh making career I can tell you that his Bath and Batty Works candle in my opinion was uh was not not great um, they they did not do the best job with his candle compared to compared to everyone else's they, it was not my fave <laughs> But, I mean, that's not Argyle's fault, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, Argyle, I do like him. He's fun. Um, on that note, I am going to let you guys go. If I manage to stay awake until Maverick gets up, I might be able to work on my squares tonight. And if not, I'll work on them tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> so yeah sorry it was a i don't know not really a downer but kind of, still kind of a ranty one i guess but i'm gonna move past that <laughs> i got it out <laughs> moving on right so i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys listening to me like um this this vlogtober has been a lot of you guys are the ones that i get to come home and tell you about my day <laughs> Um, yeah, it's like most of the time it's, I don't know, I usually have a little something planned so we can kind of share more interactive stuff together, and I mean, it is interactive because you, you talk to me about it and all, but like, it's almost like therapy for me, in a way, just because like, I have so much weird stuff that is not all positive going on right now. And so it's almost like therapeutic to me to be able to come home and like, I'm coming home. I get to tell everybody about my day. And, you know, I know you guys listen and um, a lot of you guys offer like encouraging words or, or helpful words or advice or um, just I just know you guys are there. I, and that means a lot. It really, really does. So um, I've had an awful lot of you guys say that it means a lot that you know that I mean a lot to you guys but you guys mean so much to me just knowing that you're there listening like I cannot put it into words sometimes how much and I appreciate it so much because I know you know this person is going to comment or that person's going to comment or you know even sometimes this person's going to email me you know about this or that sometimes instead of comment but I, I appreciate it a lot, you guys. I do. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> um, I love you. I uh, hope that you know that. Bye, guys.